What's up, girls? What's up, girls? So today is January 22nd. It's Saturday. It's 12.55. And we're about to get ready to go run some errands. So I'm about to take a quick shower, get dressed, and put on some makeup. And the next time you see me, <laughs> I won't be looking like a bugaboo. So... Let's do it. Hey, my love. So here I am back beat down, honey. I tried a new method today from Life of Beauty on YouTube. She's a Lego space um makeup artist and i did my face how she was doing the girls in nigeria honey and i love it so it's full coverage if this is not the no makeup makeup but i do love it so either way the time is now way later than i thought it was gonna be so i need to go ahead and get out and get these errands ran first place i'm going to is to the bank collect my coin in the second place i'm going is to the beauty supply store because i gotta get something honey because this tire ass blow out and press and curl done did the tap and plat honey and it's time to let it go so let's go we still need paper time for party now. hey y'all what's up it's i'm back <laughs> in the car i forgot to take y'all into the hair store with me but i went and got some stuff that i needed to wash my hair and get rid of this honey this tired dry stale ass <laughs> silk press honey that i don't had since christmas and it is now the 22nd of january Oop, i'm shame i'm shame but um yeah i got a big bag of stuff honey I don't know about y'all but it is literally impossible for me to leave the beauty supply store without spending a hundred dollars like it's just not in my wheelhouse this is this is my mama calling me hello so anyway i was talking to my mom um so yeah so i'm about to go in here i'm at walgreens now as you can see I'm about to go in here and get a passport photo because um, my passport is probably has like 10 or 11 months back on it. taken but it's gonna be about an hour before I can pick it up so I think I'm just gonna go home and then probably come and pick it up tomorrow later today I mean I don't really need to wait for an hour so let's go home what's up y'all so I'm back from the hair store and from running most of my errands like I said I still have to go back and pick up my passport photo once that's finished but I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all what I got from the hair supply so I got four packs of my favorite brand of lashes which is the Ms. Lash 3D Minks and I got number six 30 12 and 7 
um when it comes to these lashes i pretty much like all of the ones by this brand but um my favorite number is 13 but i didn't get any of those today because i have like two or three packs already this is the best lash glue on the market and then i have the camille rose fresh honey nectar deep conditioning treatment with nettle root infused so i need a deep conditioner because my hair is dry and then this is the honeydew liquid moisture refresher so i plan on putting some small twists in my hair and then just wearing that and so I could use this to help keep my hair moisturized while I have the twist in. And with the twist, I like those because I can put them, like leave them out and just let my hair out and be natural. Or I can put a wig cap on and wear a wig. So it's more versatile to me than to just wear cornrows straight back. And then I got the Talia Wahid Curly Gel for my twist and the eco styler gel and the gold and then i got the eben or ebin new york lace tint so this was eight dollars and i got it in cool deep brown this i think is the second to darkest color i wasn't sure if i should have got the medium dark brown but I'll start with this and then if I think this is a bit too dark, I'll switch to the other one. But in my opinion, it's better to have a darker lace than a lighter color lace because we got time to be looking ashy around the scalp. And then the YouTube girls have been saying this is the one. So I bought some of this, the active. Um just to see how it goes but y'all know me i don't do frontal so any type of wig i have it is not a frontal it's a closure i prefer like the five by five closures but the four by four do me just fine and the last thing i have is the beeswax because i do want to do a ponytail at some point and all the youtube stylists are using this and then just um plastic caps so I can do a deep conditioning treatment yeah so that's pretty much all I got today um cha honey this makeup is had its time these masks be doing a lot but anywho yep that's all yeah, so anywho um it's pretty much it for me for now I think I'm going to chill for a while and take this makeup off. I don't know if I'm going to go back and pick up my passport picture today or if I'm going to pick it up tomorrow. But um, either way, I'll take you guys with me. So I'll check back with y'all in a few. Honey, look at these lashes. Now, these lashes are just the number 13s, and it's, it's time for them to go into the trash. And to be honest, I think I put them on backwards. Because if you look, like, it's thicker and fluffier on the inside and shorter on the outside. So, that was my bad on that. But, who cares? Mm. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm back again <laughs> i didn't actually come back last night i meant to come back and show you guys what i cooked but i ended up <clears throat> cooking baked chicken greens peas devil eggs and cornbread which was really good um we have enough for leftovers to the white so that's always good um right now i'm looking like a crusty crab because i'm not too long ago woke up i'm about to have a coffee and then i'm about to get ready to go this morning i have a class i've been taking a um, part-time esthetician course and today is my one of my in-person classes so i'm gonna get ready um hey guys i'm back <laughs> looking a little bit fresher um face beat down 
hair out and styled and i'm getting ready to get in the car and head to my class um i can show you my outfit but it's honestly nothing special hey y'all <clears throat> good morning i finally got me some coffee so now i can like function like a normal human being so <laughs> Yesterday, as you can see by the vlog, would have been Tuesday. I think the last time you guys heard from me, I was coming back from my esthetician class on Monday. Um, didn't do anything on Tuesday. Tuesday was really just like head down, um, doing some work for my actual job. <laughs> and um, didn't much happen to be uh, in all honesty hold on one second let me fix the camera angle let's see oh, that's a little bit better um yeah honestly i really have got to get better at like filming and my angles and stuff like that but this is just my first vlog and um i'm not really it's not i'm not i don't know usually i'm <laughs> normally i'm good at things that i try like right away and this blogging has me feeling like awkward and shy and like not knowing what to say and like what I should show and what I shouldn't show. So it has me feeling very out of my comfort zone. So I just want to come over here and be honest with you guys. So like if you see me feeling awkward or like the video feels awkward or like I look like I don't know what I'm doing. It's because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> but hopefully y'all can stick with me and see my growth over the next year. And um, it won't be so embarrassingly awkward. But what I know that I'm not going to do is that I'm not going to quit or like let the feeling of like feeling out of place or like uncomfortable make me not pursue vlogging and stuff like that so i just gotta keep doing it until i feel comfortable with it <laughs> and unfortunately for y'all that means y'all have to see keep seeing me be fucking awkward until i figure out what it is that i'm doing but eventually i will and you know it'll be lit but for now, I'm having coffee and I'm about to start my work day. As you about the shower took all my makeup off so when um when i take my makeup off i use a cleansing oil and uh, micellar water and then i wash my face and with my marad aha bha daily exfoliating cleanser and then now i'm about to tone with witch hazel on a cotton bomb and do the rest of my skincare routine Next thing I use is this toner. It's a pH balancing toner. I got it in my BoxyCharm. It's not a brand that I'm familiar with, but so far I do like it. So I just use that as my second toner. And rub that on with a cotton ball. This is actually organic cotton from Muji. It's my favorite brand of um, cotton. My second toner is Secret Key. This is the starting treatment essence. This is, in the skincare world, a well-known dupe for the SK2 
um, toner. I think it's called like their first skin toner or something like that. And um, that's like $100, but this is like $20 off Amazon. So I decided that if I really like this, I will invest in the um, more expensive version of it. But for now, this will do. And then I just do two layers of this and pat this in. And the second layer of toner I do is the Innistree Hyaluronic Acid Toner Plus. And I know you're thinking, why do you put so many toners on your face? Well, I follow Korean skincare philosophy um, in my skincare routine, even if I don't always use um, Korean skincare products. And one of the philosophies from Korean skincare is like to um, like seven layers of <laughs> it's basically it's called like seven layers um, you're like seven layers skin or whatever and it's where you put like different hydrating toners which these would be and you put the um, seven layers of those on your skin now I don't do exactly seven layers I do like one or two of the first one and then one of the hydrolon high hyaluronic acid toner plus and it really helps to keep the skin deeply moisturized the sec then I go in with my Innistree um, hyaluronic acid water essence so one thing that's always in my routine is a hyaluronic acid right so usually that hyaluronic acid is from the ordinary um but I'm trying this Innis Tree one now because I was just um, ready to try a different brand. You know, your skin kind of gets used to um, a product if you use the same brand um, over and over again. So I had you gone through like two bottles back to back of the hyaluronic acid from the ordinary. So I decided to try out another hyaluronic acid um so far i mean i don't have any negative things to say about it but it's also no better or no worse than the ordinary one that i use but the thing i like about the ordinary one is that it's like six or eight dollars and this is more on the line of twenty dollars and you know if you have a budget that you really need to stick to that can really matter and the next thing I go in with is my vitamin C I always 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 will have vitamin C in my routine um, I know some people prefer to only use vitamin C during the day um, and I highly highly recommend that you use vitamin C during the day because vitamin C helps your um, works well together with your sunscreen um, <clears throat> to like really protect your skin. But I struggle with hyperpigmentation marks, as you can see, like around here and um, like on my jaw area. So I use vitamin C um, morning and night because it's really good at like helping fight pigmentation and also helping you prevent getting more pigmentation. And the one that I've been loving for the minute, this is my second bottle of this, is the Green Tangerine Vita C Dark Spot Serum from Goodall. Again, this is a Korean brand that I ordered from either Soko Glam or Olive Young online. And I really like this <clears throat> so far. Um, for people who have darker skin, darker skin babes like myself, we kind of have to be careful with vitamin C because it can like irritate our skin or sensitize our skin. But for me, this particular version right here from this brand, I haven't had any issues with. And then I'm going to go in next with my real buckle firming serum so this is basically a retinol um alternative i'm trying to get into retinols and all of that stuff but to be honest i need to do a lot more 
research because I love to use like acids and stuff salicylic acid um AHAs BHAs and stuff like that to help like resurface my skin and manage hyper pigmentation and texture and such and I'm just really not sure how I should be adding in my retinols um into the routine to make sure that I'm not like damaging my skin barrier or anything like that so So, um, I'm kind of like not skeptical of retinol in the fact of like, should we be using them or do they work? I know they work. They're the best for, um, like anti-aging and, you know, <laughs> I am a woman of, of a particular age now. So anti-aging needs to be, um, one of my priorities, but I've been using this because it's like a retinol alternative and it does the same thing it comes out like this and then you just dab 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 and roll and then you do it again just dab 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 and roll love it and then go up a little and i'm gonna let that sit in on each hand and tap no, I always you use these fingers, these two fingers here, because they're the weakest fingers on um your hand, and you want to be super, super sensitive about the way you are pulling and um dealing with the skin underneath. So the CeraVe, I remember you guys, I showed you this earlier, and I'm gonna use it tonight. See what I mean when I tell you the girl is thick. She is thick. So my oily babes, I don't know if I would 100% recommend this to you quite yet. But I just put that on and rub it in all over. And so this helps soften and renew the look of tired skin overnight it helps restore the protective skin barrier and it has ceramides and peptides i always finish with an oil i know some people put the oil on before the moisturizer i put the moisturizer on first and then finish with oil right now my favorite oil to use on my face is rose hip oil so rose hip oil has a lot of vitamin a in it and vitamin a is um similar to our have you ever heard of retin a which is a type of retinol well that's vitamin a so rose hip oil like vitamin a and retinol helps to um resurface the skin fine lines um hyperpigmentation and also uh the oil helps to lock the moisture in which is why i prefer um rosehip oil but um i also really like moroccan argan oil and I've been using a lot this recovery treatment from this brand that I also got in my boxy charm box. So those are a few options. Last thing I'm gonna put on is my Glossier Lip Mint Balm on my lips. That's pretty much it for me, you guys. If you've made it this far into the vlog thank you so much for watching i know it's been a little hectic and like all over the place and it seems like i don't really know what i'm doing and that's because i don't really know what i'm doing but hopefully um you saw something that you liked and you'll tune back in for the next episode of a week in my life and we can just grow together i can get to know you guys as a community you can get to know me we can build um a community of skincare lovers <laughs> and self-care lovers together and travel lovers can't forget travel and 
yeah if you are still watching i can't say thank you enough remember to like comment and subscribe hit the bell so that you don't miss an upload and yeah that's it i'll get y'all check you in the next video bye guys